In today's video, I will teach you how to rotate images in GIMP. Let's get started. Rotating an image in GIMP can be done using different methods, each with its own advantages. Here are the three most commonly used methods. The first one is by using the Unify Transform tool. The Unify Transform tool combines move, scale, rotation, shear, and perspective adjustments into a single tool. You can switch to the tool using the toolbox or the shortcut key Shift T. Now click once on the image and handles appear for precise control. To rotate, click outside the image boundary and drag in the desired direction. A pop-up overlay shows a transform matrix and when satisfied with the rotation, you can simply click Transform to finalize. The second option is by using the Rotate tool in GIMP. The Rotate tool provides precise control over image rotation without accidental resizing. Access the Rotate tool by selecting it in the toolbox or by using the shortcut key Shift-R. Specify the degree of rotation and set the rotation point, which is in the center by default, but other points are available. Then simply click the Rotate button in the pop-up window to apply the rotation. And the third way to rotate an image in GIMP is by arbitrary rotation. Found in the Transform submenu, arbitrary rotation allows specifying the angle and direction of the rotation. Despite its name, it essentially activates the Rotate tool. This method may be considered a legacy command and it is functionally similar to using the Rotate tool. Remember, each method has its strengths and choosing the right one depends on the specific requirements of your image rotation. Whether you prefer the convenience of Unify Transform tool, the precision of the Rotate tool, or the flexibility of the arbitrary rotation, GIMP provides various options for rotating images. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.